Meet Stenotrophomonas maltophilia, a tiny but mighty germ. This aerobic gram-negative bacillus doesn't like sugar the way we do. It doesn't ferment glucose. Sometimes it's just hanging around harmlessly, but other times it can cause serious infections. People with lung problems, like those with cystic fibrosis or on ventilators, need to be especially cautious. But here's the challenge. Stenotrophomonas maltophilia is like a superhero with a shield against antibiotics, thanks to its arsenal of resistance tricks. Let's unpack some of its defences. Beta-lactamase superpowers. This germ produces two special enzymes, L1 and L2. L1 is like a metal shield breaking down many antibiotics, except for one called Astrionam. L2, on the other hand, fights off cephalosporins and even takes down Astrionam. Efflux pumps. Imagine the germ having tiny pumps that throw antibiotics out before they can do any harm. These pumps help it resist a range of treatments, making it a tough opponent. Enzymatic inactivation. It has a secret weapon against aminoglycosides, a class of antibiotics, rendering them useless. Altered target sites. And finally, it changes its own DNA gerase and topoisomerase AV, the targets for fluoroquinolones, making these antibiotics less effective. So, how do we fight back? The IDSA suggests two strategies for tackling this resilient germ. Option 1. Pair up two of these heroes. Trimethoprim sulfam, thoxazole, minocycline or tigcycline, cephidrocol or levofloxacine. Option 2. Or team up ceftazidime, avibactam with aztreonam for a dynamic duo. Each of these treatments has its own way of battling germs. From blocking bacterial growth to preventing the bacteria from building their protective walls. But remember, it's not just about choosing the strongest antibiotic. It's about finding the right match to bypass Stenotrophomonas maltophilia's defenses and protect those who are most vulnerable.